do have 506 next on my list. Should I pop in before checking out 509? Hmm, okay. 506. Let's do this quickly. Oh boy, someone's been living it up. I don't think we're gonna find anything here. I think this is just like a part of the game where we actually do the cleaning without having to like think much about stuff. Oh, the menu again. Someone's been partying real hard in this room with the champagne and hearts and... Can you open the last drawer, sir? Okay. I mean, ma'am, sorry, miss. Switch this off, clean the champagne, and whatever nail polish, take out the trash. Mm. The bed is okay. All that's missing so. are the pillows. Okay. Mm, one more pillow here. Clean this. What's this? Not exactly a cherished gift. She just left it behind like this. And I'm not going home without a prize. Dear my beloved Li Lian, much as I would have loved to spend this Valentine's Day with a woman who is about to become my missus, I'll happily make do with the lifetime of Valentine's Day awaiting us. Enjoy your week in Montreal. I'll be eagerly awaiting your return and the start of our new life together. Don't let Simone rope you into anything crazy. Tell her I need my bride back in one place. Let's not throw this away yet. So more trash. Mm. Oh, there is a balloon. What else do we have to do? Okay. Oh my god, why would you put the champagne bottles down the... Sorry for the mess. Are you really sorry? Like, why would you write that? Is this clean? Mm. A shoe. What's the story behind this? That is weird. Are they coming back or like they just like left for good? I don't know. Mm. Towels they've got. Okay, so there's nothing in zero six. I think I can get rid of the stuff. Getting into 509 will be no problem with the master key. Let's get to the bottom of all this. Okay, let's finish this off. Five zero nine. Here we go. Looks like someone had quite the shopping spree. More work for poor Rebecca. Hang in there, Reb. That's the laundry receipt. We're shopping. I'll hold off on throwing this out just yet. The food's practically untouched. Okay. 
What's this you got there? Mr. Hector Cruz. Okay, insurance agent. So that's the hus. What happened to you? Oh. Okay. Oh, that's the same um, journal. Oh, dead, dead flowers. Um, is it dirty? It is. So. Sorry, sorry. I could pick up. Expenses. Restaurant, restaurant, restaurant flowers, church donation. Okay. This person looking for you back in Texas. Was he really just a co-worker? So dear son, I cannot believe you decided to renew your vows so far away from the family. Your father and I are very disappointed and so are your sisters. What a strange destination, Mariel. I would not be surprised if this was another one of your wife's ideas. I met Luciana in town yesterday. She has five children and is pregnant with her sixth. Juan has just bought them that nice house on the corner of Prado and Ramos. Imagine if you had married her like you were supposed to. Yesterday I also drove by your home to get the mail. As I was leaving, I met a man who was looking for you. I think he's one of your colleagues from work, but I'm not sure. I told him you were in Montreal and would be back next week. When do you come back exactly? I hope you can be there for your uncle's birthday party on Friday. I will make your favorite cake. Your mother. Hmm. What is this? A journal? Meeting with John, regional meeting, haircut, bank appointment, notary appointment, wedding anniversary, rose petals on bed, return trip. Okay. So. Let's close. Hide the evidence. What's this? Oh, okay. Oh, wow, you look like a couple out of a magazine. Wow. And a Bible. Someone's religious. Someone's been sleeping here. I should leave it as it is. Okay. What's this room? got her personal information stolen is mr morgan behind it so dear mrs cruz we wish to apologize on behalf of our company for the privacy breach that occurred on the 25th and thank you for calling it to our attention we are currently investigating the breach and trying to understand how this individual was able to obtain your personal information rest assured that we will put measures in place to make sure the situation does not repeat itself so it says SOS 5 8 Locked It looks like the code is made up of Four, four letters, letters. Mm. Who could blame you for seeking help? I do the same in your shoes These scribbles don't look random But I can't figure out what they mean Okay. Fernie and Wiseman. Have I seen this logo somewhere? What am I gonna find here, guys? What am I gonna find? Oh. Stranger in the night, beast in the view, murder. To read. Oh. 
Whoever wrote this is as much a reader as they are a doodler. been emptied. Okay, that's suspicious. So we need to find the six letters. Mm. What's this piece of someone tore that note apart? But I'm missing some pieces. I can't make out what's written. So we have to have your nine laundry ticket. Um, calendar. Rosalie. Development of a contraceptive pill believed to be the ultimate of child oh, of birth control was reported yesterday to a group of journalists. The pill was testing among 218 women. Despite reports of some undesirable effects, the doctor said the pill shows greater promise for the future. These hmm. symbols, they look oddly familiar. These scribbles don't look random, but I can't figure out what they mean. N plus. How to make solutions? Germ killer. Okay. We don't need that. Uh, we can make the bad. Okay, there's a pillow missing. Do we pick these up? Guess not. Oh, that's the same pillow. Okay. Maybe I'll find more of those torn paper pieces if I keep cleaning the room. Okay, so we're looking for more torn pieces of paper. We've checked all the drawers, I guess. Let's see who's calling. Hello? Hello? Beth? Is, is, is that you? That is so random, so weird. Clarington Hotel reception desk. Beth? Sophie? Did you just call me? No, I didn't. Then who called? Oh, what do you mean, who called? Someone just called, and they said nothing. All I could hear was static and breathing. Whoa. The creeperama just keeps on going, doesn't it? Uh, hold on. Hey, Archie. Uh, what's up? Give me a second, Sophie. Okay, so turns out Archie here patched a call through to 509 moments ago. Okay. Did he recognize the caller's voice? You think you think it might have been Mr. Morgan? Well, it yeah. could be. It could Let be someone ask. else. Okay, so it was a man's voice, but you can't be sure if it was <laughs> our, our creep. Hmm. Hmm. Did he notice anything else? He says... He says he heard a faint bell in the background. It sounded like the elevator's bell. So he assumed the caller was one of our clients. Okay. You didn't see Mr. Morgan come back to the hotel, did you? No. I understand why you're creeped out. But I don't see how he could possibly know you're in 509. 
I didn't say a word to anyone. I know. I know you didn't. Okay. Can you ask Let's Andrew see. not to patch any calls here for a while? Huh, trust me. I will. Thanks. I haven't had time to check all of 509 yet, so I better get back to it. Okay, we have oh, to be before thorough. Before you go, I have some more info for you. Uh -huh. I was going over the details of our little mystery. Okay. When I remembered something about this morning. What is it? I saw Mrs. Cruz rush out of the hotel, all by her lonesome. Not too long after Mr. Morgan knocked over that vase in the lobby. Okay. Um. Really? Do you know what time it was exactly? I think Mr. Morgan left around 10, so I'm guessing between then and 5 past 10. Hmm. What? I just, I remember hearing a loud noise on the fifth floor right around that time. Like a, a door slamming really hard. Okay. Do you think it was her? Maybe. Did you notice anything weird about her? You mean, other than the fact that she was walking straight into a yeah. snowstorm? Yeah. Okay, well, we wonder what's I've happening with them. Well, I've only ever seen her with her husband. It seemed unusual that she'd be leaving alone. But now that I think about it, maybe she was sneaking out. Or following Mr. Morgan. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully I can make sense of all of this. I'm sure you will. Call me as soon as you find something. Okay. Thanks for the info. So we have to keep looking around. Let's keep looking around, Sophie. We have to find something. But where could they be? Three pieces of paper, okay. These are lovely. I wish you'd had more confidence in yourself. Why would I throw it away? Doesn't make any sense. Maybe they're coming back. They didn't check out because their stuff are still here. So... I'll just leave the toothbrush. And what's this? Each Moodle tablet contains four active ingredients. Okay, whatever that is. Combination, no entry. Hmm. We got the last pieces. Whoa. Hmm. Okay, and hold. To oh my god, I can also switch. Okay. Um, okay, so this goes here. And then this is just like that. This, like this. Okay. Here and here. What does this mean? It's some kind, some of, a kind code. of a code. Could I break it? Hmm. Hmm. She's so pretty. That yarn map Mr. Morgan has mm. on the wall of 505. Weren't there some peculiar doodles? Hmm. Yeah. I think these match the symbols on the papers I collected. 6P, 03P. Oh, 
Oh, uh -huh. more symbols. I'll have to remember these. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll have to remember these. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll have to remember these. Okay. And then this one over here. More of these symbols. Yes. These are part of the same set. I think I can use this. Okay. Does this have any? Oh, these symbols match some of the ones. That's one of the symbols. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know how it... Oh! Okay, wait. Mm, we have W. Um... R, no, R, and then this one is T, T, no, T, mm, okay. That yarn map Mr. Morgan has on the wall of 505. Okay, let's go, let's go to there some room 505, maybe we have the rest symbols, of the symbols, maybe, symbols there. Five zero five is right here. Close the door. And I hope he's not here. Let's see. Okay. Yes, these are part of the same set. I think I can use this. Yes, okay. these are part of the same set. I think I can use this. Is that all? More of these symbols. Just what I was looking for. I think that's it here. Okay. Nobody was here. Okay, so we have the four, which is an I. Oh, this is S. I will leave notes in the vent next, next to your room. room. Oh. Yay, progress. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. Hey Beth, it's me. Hey, so? How did the snooping go? Find anything? I did. I found a message written in strange symbols. A kind of secret code. A secret code? Well, spill the beans. What did it say? I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. In the vent? Who the hell does that? I don't know. But whoever the message was intended for went through a lot of trouble to hide it. It was torn in a dozen pieces and scattered in three different trash cans. So the cruises are keeping secrets from each other. Do you think one of them's having an affair? Possibly. Well, that's possible. It's quite obvious they're having marital problems. What makes you say that? Mm, couch bed. I'm pretty sure the husband was sentenced to sleeping in the living room. I found a pillow and some sheets on the couch. Okay, so maybe he snores a lot. Or he kicks her in his <laughs> sleep. I've been elbowed by my sister more times than I can count. Some people are just bad sleepers. Possible. Is that all you've got? Pretty much. I just have this maid instinct. Really? How does that work? Does your apron vibrate when you enter a room? Does your duster light up when it's cleaning a chandelier that is seeing too much? Very <laughs> funny, Beth. Serious, Beth. I've cleaned the rooms of many happy loving couples this isn't one of them it feels cold. cold well if you're right i'll buy you a cape when this is all over you'll be super made super made <laughs> we'll know if my instinct is right once i have a look at the vent that's mentioned in the message 
Yeah, good idea, Bean. I'm about to go on break, so if you need my help again, just ask Andrew to patch you through to the break room. All okay, right. enjoy your break. Oh, I will. So let's go check the vent. Well, which vent is it? What are you looking at? The message said next to your room. So it has to be a vent in the corridor. Oh. Like outside, outside? Well, there's no vent. Oh. I can't see anything in there. Which vent is it then? Okay. Did we find something? There is another letter. Unscrew. Can't open these without a screwdriver. Okay. I'll need to find a screwdriver. Should it be digital? Janitor's closet is right nearby. Okay. So, janitor's closet. It's this one. Oh, what's this? Like this. So it says, highest priority, huh? Eugene, that means Eugene's probably working in Bernard's office right now. Bernard tells me there's a cold draft coming from his window and it's turning his office into a freezer. Fixing this should be your highest priority today, Linda. So Eugene is the janitor? Wait, Sophie. Okay. You don't need these. Be careful. It's a slippery Shop slope towards against becoming a hoarder. Little. Okay, we read about this. Oh, Eugene. I had no idea. A friend of mine has heard from her hairdresser who's heard from her sister-in-law who works as a secretary to the mayor that the city plans on building a new mental hospital. Denise could get the care she needs while staying close to home. It's almost too good to be true. I don't get my... I don't dare get my hopes... Up but still keep my ear to the ground and keep you posted. Oh. So is Eugene's wife um hmm. Kuku? I've never seen two people. Eugene's a pro at fixing the fuse box whenever there's a power outage. Okay, so we are looking for a screwdriver. Where could it possibly be? In a toolbox. Shoot, no screwdriver. Hmm. hmm. What's life without a little challenge? Okay, so where would it be? Ah, huh. this must be Eugene with his daughter. He looks like a caring father. Where is the screwdriver? Hmm. Wait, Sophie, you don't need these. Be careful. It's a slippery slope towards becoming a hoarder. I guess we have to find Eugene. Bernard's office. Okay, okay. I shouldn't wander around with my pockets full. Is there anything I can put down? Oh. You want me to drop the cups. Is that all? Yes, that is. <gasps> oh. It's, uh, Miss Bellevet, isn't it? What? Oh, um, Roy. <laughs> oh, right. You're the one who took last week off, aren't you? You had to, uh, take, take care, care of, of your, your sister? sister, I think? Mother. My mother. She's, um, she's very sick. Hmm. No, I hope this doesn't become a recurring thing. 
I need to know I can count on you. Acting like a boss. What are you doing here anyway? Are you on break? Mm. Shit. Indicates a lie. Lies may get you out of a tough spot, but be careful not to get caught in a lie. Shit. Yes, I am. Hmm. Don't take too long. No, no, no. I won't. <coughs> Well, don't you look mischievous. Oh. Hey, B. If you're planning to give Bernard a good scare, sign me up. No, I'm looking for a screwdriver for the vent. Linda asked Eugene to fix Bernard's window. Oh, I see. Eugene? What the hell? You better go and take a look. I'll stand guard by the elevator. And make some noise if I see Bernard coming. Okay, thanks. I'll be quick. Okay. Hmm. That's a screwdriver over there. Posing something that could help so many people just because it's close to your hotel? This is ridiculous. I would like to thank you again for agreeing to the partnership between the Clarendon and Western's department store. Thanks to your generous help, renovations are well underway and the hotel has never looked better. On another note, it has come to my attention that you have formed a group of local businessmen businessmen to oppose the construction of the new mental hospital after working so hard to elevate the clarington standards i cannot allow a band of cuckoos to move in my backyard should you accept it would be an honor and a privilege to join your fight hmm. so i take it the open window was not an accident can't say i blame you eugene shit okay let's, Aha. Take the screwdriver. let's get you to that vent This blizzard, Bernard's office will be a skating rink by the end of the day. Best to avoid that. What's this? My employer has made the following requests to avoid unwanted attention. His identity should remain secret to both guests and staff. Are we talking about the VIP on the sixth floor? To avoid unwanted attention, his identity should remain secret to both guests and staff. The temperature in room 602 should be kept at exactly 22 degrees. His dogs should be fed the very best roast beef. His room should be cleaned every day at 11.30 on the dot. X should be banned from his room service orders. No one should disturb him between the hours of 4 and 5. More requests shall follow once my employer takes possession of his room. Interesting. Interesting. Is this the windows? <sighs> this does not look like a nice brotherly check-in. I had no idea things were this bad between Bernard and Raymond. Is that all? We just hit the evidence. Surely your break is over by now. No, it's not. I came by here not too long ago, and Andrew was already covering for you. That's because I was in the ladies' room. That's no excuse to- It's my time of the month. I, uh, I... You're married, aren't you? So you know how it is. I have to go more often, and oh, sometimes I stain the furniture, and, and don't get me started on all the- That's enough details. I. Miss Bellavid, what were you doing in my office? I wasn't... I was... I was simply closing the door. Someone left it ajar. Really? But that doesn't explain what you're doing on this floor. You know very well the cleaning staff isn't supposed to wander around the lobby for no reason. Oopsie. I... 
You wouldn't be lying to me, would you, Miss Bellavit? No. No, I swear, I... It's my fault. I asked her to come clean up a mess I made. Spilled coffee. Coffee? Oh, Miss Lambert, you're not supposed to have beverages at the front desk. Yeah, well, there are so many rules here, I lose track. <laughs> Good save. Come with me. 